Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. All right. Hi, I'm Ola Helland. I came all the way from Norway here today to tell you what happens when you make stupid, drunken bets with your best friend. <laughs> you see, in June last year, I went out drinking with that guy. <laughs> uh, his name is Jürgen. He's my best friend, and we were out at a bar talking about the internet and how amazingly big and vast it's become and how, you know, everybody's connected all the time. And I said, in a buy sentence, that I can easily get one million giraffes if I wanted to, using social media. Jürgen said, there's just no way you can do that, it's not possible. So we did the only reasonable thing to do when you're kind of drunk, we made a bet. And the bet is really simple. I need to get one million giraffes by the end of 2010, and if I do, I get a case of beer. <laughs> so, it's really quite kind of simple, and if we don't, of course, I have to buy a case of beer to Yillian. Now, and we made it a little bit more complicated than this. Now, you can't use a computer to make your giraffes, otherwise you can just open paint, do a little stick giraffe, copy-paste it, and I'm done. And you actually have to make it yourself physically with your own hands, which is a bit more complicated. And you can't Google them and search something and go to the zoo and take a picture of a giraffe. So a couple days later, I made onemillionjiraffes.com as a joke posting on my Facebook and Twitter accounts, thinking that it's just going to be an inside joke with my friends. Maybe in a week I'll get 20, maybe 30 giraffes. We'll have a big laugh, I'll buy yoga and a case of bear, we forget about it. That didn't really happen. When I came back from lunch after posting that, I had 200 giraffes in my inbox. I, I very quickly sobered up and I sat down and I... <laughs> I did the math of this and it turns out that one million is a lot. I mean, it's a lot. It turns out, if to make this, I needed 1.2 giraffes for every minute of every day for a year and a half. It kind of, you know, what the hell was I thinking? So, uh, but now, 10 months later, it actually kind of seems possible. Today, I have almost 800,000 giraffes from all around the world. And uh, I only have to the end of the year to get the remaining 200,000 giraffes. So I kind of need your help, so please, you know. Um, and the thing is that I discovered that whenever I talk, tell uh, kids about this project, their immediate reaction is, this is awesome. <laughs> and, and they think about, like the highest number they can think about, and they're like, I'm gonna make seven giraffes for you, seven giraffes. <laughs> and they're getting really excited and there's no stopping them. But grown-ups, their first reaction is just, why? I mean, it's, <laughs> this is not possible. Why would you do such a stupid thing? And I hate that the world has become a place where I need a reason to collect one million giraffes. <laughs> as if not just the fun of it is enough. So, <laughs> um, what was my trailer thought here? <laughs> um, yeah, so, why should you draw a giraffe for me? Well, it's quite simple. I've found that no one draws a giraffe or creates one without a, with a frown on their face. Everybody smiles and it looks kind of weird and they can't really get it on the first try. And it, you know, I found that it's a great exercise in being creative in an unfamiliar element. Putting a computer away, doing something that you don't usually do. I mean, how many people here have actually made <laughs> a giraffe the last couple of years? I'm betting pretty much no one of you. So, <laughs> doing something creative that you don't usually do triggers something in your brain that causes you to be more creative in your field of work. So it doesn't really matter what you do, if you're in a creative uh, line of work, you should just put that away, do something as far away from that as possible, like, for example, making giraffes. And you will trigger something in your brain, keeping your creativity fresh, and, you know, you, it'll put a smile on your face, for sure, I, I guarantee it. And uh, yeah, you'll do a better job if you create more giraffes. I, I, yeah, I'm sure of it. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so in short, <laughs> you should draw a giraffe, not only because I get a case of bear out of it, but we all are web nerds here, and we should prove a point to my friend Jorgen that the internet is amazing, that you can do insane, impossible things using social media. And you know, it is a lot of fun. Watching the submissions coming from Last time I checked, it was 98 different countries that participated in this. 
And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, please help me out and prove that Jurgen sucks. <laughs> and that the internet is amazing. And that it is possible to collect one million giraffes in a year and a half.